Hi, we are here in week two of the ISTF proposal writing uh, the work funding workshop chapters. And I'm here to talk to you about video about part two problem, the problem statement goals and objectives for your proposal. So here are the things that we're covering in this week of the workshop. Daniel has already covered the national frameworks for forest um, objectives. We have, are gonna talk about a couple of types of proposals briefly, and then cover several sections of, the, of a proposal, several parts for proposals. The background section for, and the problem statement, the overall goal you are aiming towards, objectives that constitute that goal, turning those objectives into SMART objectives, and then the theory of change. The other components listed here, activities, evaluation, budget, we will cover in later sessions, in later weeks. So there are two kinds of proposals for funding. First, there are research proposals, and these involve a research question and hypotheses to be tested as possible answers. Then there are needs-based proposals. They meet a need or a gap. We are focusing on needs-based proposals for projects. So let's start then with the problem statement and the context or the background. The problem statement should be something specific that you can actually do. The context and background or background should explain why the problem is occurring and why this is an important issue to address. Then use data to support the importance of the problem and make the proposal a collaboration with the people whom you hope to impact with the project. Collaborate with the community, for example. They should help participate in determining um, what the problem is that needs to be addressed and what possible solutions are. And that will lead to the goal, to the objectives and to the actions or activities to be implemented. An example would be a proposal for a reforestation project. The problem might be people are cutting down trees inside a forest reserve. And the context or background might indicate why this is happening, why it's important. Data to consider is how fast it is it happening? How much has occurred? So then let's move on to the overall goal that you want to achieve. The goal is basically the response to the need. The goal is a general statement of the desired long-term outcome, and it will derive from the need statement. There should be one goal per proposal and it should be written in straightforward language. A goal should relate to your theory of change and your evaluation plan, which will be covered later. Okay, and goals should fit into a national framework and your chapter strategic plan. Your proposal also needs to help donors that you target meet their goals. So you also need to link with the goals of the funders that you are targeting, that you are applying to. Here are a couple of examples of linking to national frameworks or other frameworks. These are, um, Daniel already covered this part. If you want to contribute, for example, to an in-country Red Plus program or other national initiative, your actions that you want to carry out should feed into those national objectives, what they're wanting to achieve. One such initiative is the course and cocoa and forest initiative, which is active in Ghana. There are global initiatives by companies that aim at sustainable sourcing of cocoa, zero deforestation and social inclusion. Now, if you want to address forestry issues related to conversion to agriculture and you're a place where cocoa production occurs, you might be able to link to this initiative to interest donors. So let's go on next to objectives. The objectives are smaller parts of the overall goal. And you break down the overall goal into these smaller steps. The rule of thumb is no more than three objectives per proposal. 
and each objective may have several activities with it to achieve it. Here's an example. So back to that reforestation project proposal. So the problem, people are cutting down trees inside a forest reserve. The context or background is people are cutting down trees because maybe they lack other fuel sources. The goal, which should align with the national framework, is provide fuel wood via plantation of fast growing trees desirable for fuel wood to reduce tree harvest in the reserve. And the objectives you could maybe break that goal down into, there would be other ways to do this. Maybe you wanna train the community in tree nurse, in nursery management, tree planting and plantation care. Then maybe another objective would be to plan and implement a tree nursery. And maybe a third objective would be to award to individuals or communities who reach a, a certain level of survivorship of the trees they plant and that they can have an award that would help motivate them to take care of the trees they plant. So I'm going to be, again, these presentations, these PowerPoints will all be available for you. So you can just look at these links in, in the PowerPoint, but just know that there's various resources to help you write the needs statement, the goals, and objectives for your proposal. And for your assignment then, we would want you to, for your country, find the framework for desirable forestry outcomes, okay? Then find the relevant national policies and laws that would support the, that framework. Go to reworking the first part of your proposal. First, developing the problem statement that you want to address. Then the background or context for that problem and support the importance of the problem with data. Then state one goal for your proposal that links to that need and that links to your national framework for desired forestry outcomes and to your chapter strategic plan. And then break down that goal into at most three objectives. Well, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.